Yo, what's going on guys? This is Sandy. Let's have a little unscripted, off-the-cuff discussion regarding Modern Warfare Ground War. I'm not really going to touch on the 6v6 game mode because pretty much everyone on the planet has already beaten that to death. There's quite a few flaws in it, the maps being the most obvious one, but forget that. Honestly, I'm pretty sick and tired of 6v6 game modes anyway. The last one I enjoyed was Black Ops 2, and before that was Modern Warfare 2, so we're going back quite a few years at this point. So who cares about 6v6? Throw it out the window. Now, Ground War, on the other hand, we're talking about something that Call of Duty could build upon and make amazing. They could pick up where Battlefield has left off, but they didn't. And it's unfortunate, because this game has the best gunplay I've probably ever seen in a, in a modern game. It is actually incredible. When you shoot and kill someone in this game, I don't know what the term would be for it. Kill satisfaction? I don't know. But it's through the roof. All of that is ruined in Ground War by the tanks. These tanks are so absurd that it, it's honestly it's laughable to even think about how crazy these tanks are. And I don't want to hear it. There's no reason to blow one up. There's no reason to carry a launcher. Because a new tank will spawn within a second. So I truly hope they address this issue. I don't know why no one's talking about it. You get in a tank and you, you control the entire map. You get on a ridge like a loser. You get 75 kills. I mean, it's, it's absurd. Your, your whole team wins just because you control a ridge. I'm getting annoyed even thinking about these tanks. They are actually insane. So let's hope they either give them a five minute respawn. Honestly, if it's up to me, they're out of the game. Because, again, the gunplay is so superb in this game. Why ruin it with tanks that are shooting five times a second with splash damage that will kill you in, in a 20 foot room? Truly insane. <laughs> but. With that out of the way, Ground War is something that Call of Duty can build a winner off of, in my opinion. The shooting is that much better than Battlefield. It really is. It's just, it's unbelievable how good it is. Stick to gunplay. Stick to utility-based vehicles. You know, quads, those golf cart looking things. Helicopters with no missiles and guns on them. Stick to that and you got a winner. Now, you'll, you'll see something in this video that's going on that you wouldn't think coming out of Sandy Ravage, this old loser. I'm sniping. You better believe I'm sniping because I don't believe rushing is a viable strategy anymore. Not the way this game is built. So everyone asks me, how do you have fun playing this game? Remember that little series I made in Modern Warfare 3, how to have fun playing Modern Warfare 3? How ridiculous is it that you gotta make a video to try to explain how to have fun in a video game. <laughs> Just think about that for a second. Uh, but this game requires one of those videos. And to me, I was, I've always been a rusher, just mindless running, not really mindless, but just running out there with a shotgun or some sort of an SMG. I tried that in the beta to this game. It took 45 minutes before I realized I'm never doing that again. This game does not work with rushing, not consistently. That's great, you could have a round where you go 50 and 2 rushing. The next game you're going to go 30 and 28, you know. It's not consistent. So, I stepped out of my comfort zone, basically. I picked up a sniper rifle. And it's freaking amazing. Honestly, the sniping in this game is probably overpowered. It's not like the M4. The M4 is the most overpowered gun potentially ever. But the sniping in this game, it's crazy good and fun and satisfying. So I picked up a sniper. I'm trying to help my team in what I call counter sniping. Because everyone thinks sniping is awesome, so they do it themselves. So what can I do to help the team if I'm not rushing? It's killing their snipers. And on this trash map, everyone just goes on the rooftops. So I go to the rooftop and try to take out their snipers to try to help my team capture the points. Totally different than how I used to play, but it was required because of the way this game plays. Again, rushing is just, it's kind of torture. It's not going to work that well. 
So when, when everyone asks how do I have fun, it's because I switched up my tactic and I'm doing something that works better for this game than it would in other Call of Duties. Not by choice, but by requirement, basically. But with that said, sniping is unbelievably fun in this game, and I don't intend on putting it down. It is really great. Shooting people out of the sky and helicopter pilots and stuff, it's crazy. They could tone down the bullet velocity. I think it's actually too fast. And now that's that actually goes twofold. Tone down the bullet velocity for all guns. That'll make people kind of move. As of now, you get an M4 and perch up on a rooftop. You gun someone down that's running full speed, you aim right at them. You gun them down in four bullets. In about, you know, not even a quarter second, they're gone. A millisecond, I'd like to say, with the M4. You slow those bullets down, and what do you got? You get people that actually have to move around a bit. And sniping, you don't have to just point and click with a sniper rifle. It's all about judging your shots. I'd like to see bullet drop increase, and I'd like to see bullet velocity decreased. I think that would go a long way to helping ground war in this game. Maybe even 6v6, but that's kind of against the Call of Duty way. This is more, ground war is kind of, you know, obviously it's like a conquest and battlefield. You gotta have bullet ballistics in this game, you gotta. I think it will help everything out. Now, this doesn't mean I'm gonna put up videos on YouTube because the last Call of Duty that I enjoyed was Blackout. And I even put up some videos, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up a lot of these videos. What did, what did Treyarch do four weeks later? They destroyed the game. I'll blame Vondahar, so that I always blame Vondahar for no reason. But the game was ruined on PC. It's actually quite good on the consoles, but on PC, their changes completely obliterated the game. So unfortunately, I can't promise any videos, guys. Plus, I doubt a lot of you guys are here to watch me snipe, but I'm telling you, it's super fun. And this is actually gameplay ripped from my stream. I thought I was recording, but I was not, because I'm an idiot. So you'll probably see a little roulette wheel and stuff pop up that's on stream. And it's actually a lower bit rate, because you're constrained to 8,000 bit rate on Twitch. So I apologize about that. But when it comes to ground warp, taking out tanks right off the bat makes it unbelievably fun unbelievably fun introduce slower bullets get people moving make people have to judge their shots you know when it comes to call of duty the things that take time are, are doing challenges to get skins and stuff why not if you're gonna make the game so different than others why not make people master the guns that they're using uh, case in point a, a game that I enjoyed quite a bit H1Z1 that game, you took 500 hours minimum to feel comfortable shooting the assault rifle. That game also had the slowest bullets I've ever seen. They might as well have been paintballs. I don't recommend that, but I recommend something in between to give people something to master and not be able to sit in a window and kill people across the map just by aiming at them. You know, clearly Call of Duty is going in a different direction. But... It, you can't really blend the, the old style with the new style, because this is the outcome. So I truly hope they do something about this. This could be a total winner. I've always said about Modern Warfare 2, the highest highs, the lowest lows in the franchise. This game's got a lot of that going on, except the highs aren't as high as MW2, because that, that was a game that introduced, you know, almost everything. This game also, it's got highs. It's higher than quite a few Call of Duties that I've ever played. But it's got lows too. I would like, to, I say that the tanks are worse than one man army noob tubes. And I'm not kidding. I'm not trolling. The tanks are worse than one man army noob tubes because of the potential in this game. They made something that could truly be amazing, but it's being held back by their own decisions. So we as gamers, we could voice our opinion regarding these decisions, but it's not up to us to make this change. It's on IW. And, you know, judging by the feedback from a lot of people, no one's even talking about it anyway. So I don't see it being changed, which is truly unfortunate. But, again, we can't do anything about that. We can only hope. So to sum it up, since my 
train of thought is all over the place right now. I really should have wrote down some uh, bullet points or something. But take the tanks out, or in the very least, introduce a respawn delay. Bring Call of Duty back to what it's best at, that's shooting other people. In my opinion, in Ground War, have bullet ballistics. I, I understand that they have them in the game right now. But it's it doesn't change the game at all. It might as well be a hit scan, especially with sniper rifles. You don't have to lead. You don't have to lead at all. We could slow the bullets down, get people moving, stop the guy that's camping in the corner from laser beaming you down, make him think about his shots instead of just blindly just firing right at you. You're dead instantly. Get people moving around a bit. Reward playing on the objective. Right now you get on the objective, you get blown up by a tank immediately, so what's the point? Tanks are just sitting there with infinite ammo blowing up the flags from across the map. Truly ridiculous when you when you just thinking about it is absurd. <laughs> but listen guys, I'll stop rambling, I'll stop ranting here. But if you guys do enjoy watching Sniper gameplay, I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of it over at my Twitch stream. So come check it out. We're actually celebrating 10 years. 10 years of live streaming coming up on November 1st. So we're still out there having a having a good time. Even though I, I talk a little negatively about the game, I'm actually having a ton of fun on Call of Duty again, which says a lot because COD has not been in a great place for a while. It has not. This game's got potential. Let's see where they go with it. Let's hope they make the right changes, and let's hope we can have fun again on Call of Duty. Cross-platform gaming is one of the best things I've seen them introduce. Keep the game alive, everyone having fun. Rage mics are incredible. You know, doing a lot more laughing than I've been in many past Call of Duty, so that's a great sign. So hopefully I see you guys out on the streams, and have a good night.